Hey TNN, Facebook, YouTube, it's Kevin Newsom. I'm here today weighing in on the New Orleans situation. Had a lengthy discussion with a brigade commander in the Louisiana Division of the Sons of Confederate Veterans. And this brigade commander basically stated, well, what would you do? He wanted my advice on how to deal with Antifa in the future. And so, wanted to give a nice, concise video uh, for all SCV camps, brigades, divisions, as far as where to begin and how to deal with Antifa and related groups. So rule one is know your target. If you have a target, a place, a monument, a statue, anything you plan on defending, you have to know everything about it as far as what's going on with that target at all times. So that means you need a set of eyes on that target 24 hours a day. That can be a human being, that can be some sort of recording device, a streaming device, what have you. But you need to be able to look at that target at any point in time, at any point during the day or night, and say, okay, here's what's going on there. Here's who's there, here's who's around it, here are the conditions, the weather conditions, what have you. You need to know your target at all times. Part of the, uh, the discourse I've had with SCV members in Louisiana included the statement that they didn't know that people from out of state had come to the monument. They didn't know who was there. And this, of course, is a major failure. Uh, if you don't know what's going on with the situation, you can't make a good decision. If you don't have all the information needed, you cannot make good decisions about whatever the matter is. So rule one is always know your target. And in this case, when it comes to heritage defense, that means having a set of eyes on that target at all times. The second rule is know thy enemy. I was a little bit surprised that several SCV members did not know much about Antifa at all before the New Orleans incident. They uh, were surprised to know that Antifa was actually reading the SCV Facebook page. They were surprised to learn that Antifa was actually taunting the people there at the Jeff Davis statue that the SCV had abandoned them. They got this information from reading the SCV Facebook page on May Day. So a rule of thumb, always, in any kind of heritage defense situation, know thy enemy. Groups like Antifa, their average age is 20 to 30. So they're plugged in. They are linked into everything online. Uh, they're linked into everything they do and everything you do as well. So don't type anything you do not want them to see. Regardless of how sensitive it is, if you don't want Antifa to see it, don't type it. But more importantly, learn who Antifa is. Learn what they believe. Learn what they aspire to be. Learn about May Day, why it's a big deal for them. Learn about some of their belief systems. Learn who they idolize. Learn who they really secretly want to be and what their desires are. If you don't know your enemy in any battle, chances are you're going to lose. So study up on Antifa. Learn about them. Take into consideration they are reading everything you type on Facebook, on your webpage. The more you know about your enemy, the better chances for success you have in your endeavors. Rule three is have a plan. Know what you're going to do as soon as you get to that destination. If you're guarding a monument, a statue, a piece of land, what have you, know exactly what you're going to do in any given situation. That means think, think ahead. If Antifa groups like that show up, what am I going to do? Am I going to be stoic and stand still? Am I going to just absorb abuse, absorb objects hurled at me, insults hurled at me, punches thrown? Am I going to just absorb? Will I defend myself if attacked? Am I going to be aggressive with my posture out there? These things, these questions, you already need to have answered before you get out there. Also, if you expect or if you even believe there's a possibility of other like-minded people being there who are not in your organization, learn to communicate with those people. Learn to find out what their expectations are. 
coordinate as best as possible with them, even if you don't agree with them fully, even if you don't like them. The enemy of your enemy is your friend. So know loosely what your enemy enemy's enemy plans to be doing out there. And that way you have a better understanding of the way things are going to shape up out there in the battlefield. If you don't plan on engaging groups like Antifa, if it seems to be a bit too much for you, you can still be very valuable in this 21st century street fight. You can still be quite effective. If you don't plan on confronting people physically, you can provide support roles for people who are out there and who are doing that. So don't feel like because maybe you're a little older and you don't have the get up and go to get into some sort of physical altercation or to stand up for 12 hours at a time, maybe you're a pacifist, whatever, you can still be very valuable to the situation at hand, but learn to coordinate with the other groups that are out there. So these three very simple rules, which is know your target, know your enemy, and have a plan. If you follow these three rules, you are going to be much more likely to encounter success in whatever you're doing. You know, in my correspondence with a lot of the folks in Louisiana and truly everywhere across the South and America about this situation, I heard a lot of negative and I heard a lot of positive about my previous video. One of the more negative comments I received was the gentleman stated that my criticism of the SCV hurt the SCV. And I respectfully disagree. In fact, I disagree completely. It's not criticism or questioning that hurts your organization. It's refusing to listen to criticism or questions that hurts your organization. Because when you shut yourself off from criticism, when you shut yourself off from all questioning, you begin to atrophy. You begin to get stuck in the mud. You begin to be unable to adapt to the situation at hand. And that is what we saw in New Orleans on May Day. It was an organization that was unsure of how to to uh, operate in that scenario. It was an organization that didn't have all the information it needed to have. So I respectfully disagree that criticism and questioning equals being anti your organization. If I was anti SCV, I just would have sat back that night and laughed. But I did not do that. I spoke out. I spoke out in the hopes that someone would be listening. My hope is that this video does not result in a closing off like the last video did, in a refusal to listen and just label me as some sort of anti-SCV ranter or what have you. I hope that someone out there actually takes the time to listen to what I'm saying because what I'm saying is intended to help you. What I'm saying is intended to prevent what happened last week from happening again. I'll be absolutely overjoyed to consult with any camp or brigade or division in the SCV. I'm going to put my email address actually at the bottom of this video on YouTube so you can look me up and send me an email. I'll be happy to do this free of charge. If you let me know the scenario that's going on, I'll give you my two cents and uh, provide whatever information I can in order to assist you. There's some things I will not discuss on YouTube because, quite honestly, it will give the enemy a lot of good information that they don't deserve to have. But I'll be happy to give that information to any SCV camp, brigade, division that wants it. Again, following these three simple rules of knowing your target, knowing your enemy, and having a plan will only increase your chances for success. So God bless you whenever, wherever you're at. Uh, I hope you're having an excellent time, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.